All right, today we're going to be talking about this guy right here. And uh, he comes in many forms. And <laughs> he don't want to be. <laughs> All right, take two. Okay, what's going on, everybody? This is Carlos here from Premier Cuts, and we have a video of a machine that I have fell in love with. It's this guy right here, and we're gonna talk about how good it is, my review. So let's get right to it. So we're gonna talk about the likes and dislikes real quick. Um, with this guy, build quality is pretty good, not perfect. If you actually look pretty close here, you can see, as you see right around that part right there is a broken piece that really um, hasn't affected the usability, but obviously shows the build quality is not amazing. But with that being said, it hasn't affected it. I'm able to still cut with it and it works fantastic. The thing with this clipper is, is you do have to do a slight mod. It's a very simple mod. Um, if I get enough likes in this video, I'll do a video on how to place a GTX blade here. It's very simple. It's almost plug and play, just a few things you have to do, but you're gonna have to hit that like button for me to make that video. But with that being said is, because of the fact that you can use an Andy's um, blade in here, you can get an amazing cutting experience simply by just replacing it and adding a more professional blade. So the price of this thing can um, fluctuate between 25 to about $35. Um, other companies make it. Um, Udox is the one I have here, but Kemi makes it, Sucre makes it, other companies makes it, um, makes it, make it. And with that being said, it's, it's a really, Let's just say this is my go-to machine. I actually have replaced my Bablis FX skeleton as my edger. Now this has become my main edger. This one has become my bolt cutter. And um, it just, in every way, this has been an amazing machine, especially for price to for performance. So if you're looking for this and you've been wondering how good this is, I say it's definitely a worth buy. But again, it's gonna vary between how good the blade that you get and you and how good you are able to actually uh, zero gap the actual blade, how your performance may vary from mine. Now, I was able to get a really good blade, damn near perfect um, zero gap with it, and has been working fantastic for me for months now. I know I did a unboxing and told you how much I like it, but now with this review, you can actually see how much I really love it. Um, something about the battery life. Battery life is is on par with almost any of the other machines, especially my um, Gold FX. It gets to a point where I have to remind myself to actually charge it. Not that it's I'm using it um, like I am with this one, where I'm using it to take out a lot of the bulk. I'm actually using it just to do you know beard lineup and stuff like that. So I'm not having to use the battery a lot. So every couple of days, I actually end up charging it. Um, I wish there was a an indicator light that tells me not indicator light, but an indicator um, Where a little LED readout a lot of these machines have it. This one doesn't it sucks when it's on it shows blue When it's um, charging it shows red obviously and the same thing when it's dying It's gonna start showing red you can hear the power of this guy is really nice and It uses a USB I want to say it's micro USB. I wish it was USB-C, but it's not. It uses USB, and overall, it takes about an hour and a half to fully charge. Um, I believe it's a 2,000 milliamp battery on here. And where the materials feel kind of lightweight and plasticky, I had a, in the beginning, I thought it was gonna be a little bit slippery. For me, it's not slippery. Um, it is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but overall, it doesn't distract me from being able to use this thing. Man, if you're looking for uh, an edger to be well-rounded, honestly, I don't think you can find a better off-brand machine than this one. Um, I will leave links in the description of this video, so go check it out. And uh, tell me what you think if you've been using this machine at all. Remember, if I get enough likes in this video, I will do a mod, how to mod it, because it's really very simple. It has to do with these uh, springs right here. If you could see, you kind of have to bend them where instead of them being more hooked, you just bend them 
and straighten them out. It's just one way, a little quick insight tip, but yeah, this machine is uh, amazing. I love it and I'm gonna continue to use it. Uh, stay tuned because I have a, another machine that I will be showing an unboxing and it's this guy right here. It's a VGR clip, uh, clipper that has been pretty, pretty good. And yes, it's using this original blade. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you uh, hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for uh, more Clipper reviews. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later.